hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make a, a very easy and perfect um, boxer for adults okay so you're going to find this tutorial very very helpful so if this is what you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started thanks so to start with here are the measurements needed to cut a boxer okay now i have the length for this same um, tutorial to be 15 inches plus one inch extra for the folding at the down parts okay then i have the hip to be 44 inches and i have the waist to be 36 inches so um basically i will be using the hip to cut the amount of fabric i need in terms of the width okay so right now we are going to start now you know boxer does not need much um, material or fabric so you just need bleed too so i won't be able to use everything right here so the next thing i'm going to do first thing i'm going to do right here is to fold my fabric into two i will be working with the front piece so i'm going to fold it into two like i'm doing right now now to determine the amount of fabric i will need is to go back to the hip the hip circumference i have the hip circumference to be 44 inches okay now 44 inches divided by 4 will give me 11 inches so i'm going to add 3 inches to that so i'll be adding 3 inches to that 11 inches so 3 plus 11 will give me 14 so that will be the weight for this uh, fabric after i might have folded it like this so i'm going to go ahead and fold it so as you can see right here i folded my fabric so here is the width i have like 14 and a half inches 14.5 so i'm going to use it like that so i'm going to go right now and uh, measure from the upper part here what i'm going to do is to mark 0 0.5 downward first so I'm going to mark 0 0.5 and I have it. So I also extend it and mark 0 0.5. So I will quickly connect this together. So as you can see, I've connected the lines together. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to determine the width of my elastic, okay? Now, in my own case, the width of my elastic is just one inch. But I will be adding some ease to that one inch. So I will be marking 1.5 inches instead of that one inch. So from this line, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches downwards. And I have it here. Can you see? So I proceed to this other end. I also mark 1.5 inches. So the next thing is just to connect this together as well. Okay. So as you can see right here, I've connected the lines. Okay. Now I've also measured the length. The length for this and box size is 15 inches. Here is it. Then this one is one inch for the bending or the folding at the down part. So from this point, from this uh, waistline, I have the total of 16 inches right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to impute the circumference. So I'm going to divide the hip circumference. The hip is 44 inches divided by four will give me 11. So I'm going to mark 11 inches and I have it right here. okay so right now from that point i'm going to mark my crotch length so the crotch length is 11 inches so i'm going to mark it and i have it here so what i'm going to do is simply to connect this to this so i'm going to connect this line to this
So, as you can see, I've connected the line. So, at this point, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches from here. I'm going to extend it outward. So, this is going to be a, a crotch curb, okay? So, I'll simply connect this to this first. Can you see? So, after that, from this point, I'm going to mark 3 inches upwards. Can you see? 3 inches upwards. Here is it. So, I'm going to mark it, and I have it right here. So, I'm going to create a curve right here. So, go ahead and create a curve. Slight curve, okay? So, having created the curve, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to the down part here, okay? So, whatever I have here, now I have the total of 14 inches right here. So, here, I'm going to subtract 2 from that 14 inches. So, 14 minus 2 will give me 12. So, the down part here, I'm going to mark 12 inches. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to connect this to this, okay? So, as you can see right here, I've connected the line. So, the next thing is just to extend this upward like this. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and cut. So this is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to take this front piece and place it on the same, another fabric of this same. I'm going to use it to cut the back piece, okay? That's the next thing. So as you can see right here, I've placed it on another, um, another fabric, the front panel. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to this uh, crotch, um, this crotch, I'm going to extend it by 2.5 inches. So I'm going to mark it right here. I extended by 2.5 inches, okay? So right now, this side, I'm going to extend this side by 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches. Can you see? So after that, I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to extend by 1.5 inches. Can you see that? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to connect like this and also like this. Okay. So as you can see, I've connected the lines. Can you see? So the next thing right now is to cut. So I'm going to start from here.
So I'm going to remove this. Can you see that? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to open this side. The two, I'm going to open this and open this. At times, you may also decide not to open this. So it's even optional. You may decide to leave it like this, okay? So we'll go ahead and open, okay? So this is the front piece. So now that I'm done opening the two uh, front and back the next thing i'm going to do right now is to go to my mesh i mean to the machine i'm going to lay it like this okay wrong i mean right side to right side right side to right side so i'm going to lay it properly okay like i'm doing right now so i'm going to seal here i'm going to seal this crotch parts here with 0 0.5 inch also likewise this one i'm going to lay it okay then i seal i seal with 0 0.5 down to this side okay like this so as you can see right here i've sealed the side the crotch side of both the two pieces okay so look at it and look at it so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to place this right side to right side so i'm going to place it like this okay okay so I will go ahead right now, the two sides I'm going to seal like this. So I'm going to seal down also this side. I will do likewise. I'm going to seal. Okay, after that, then I come to the down part here. I'm going to lay it properly. On the down part here then i'm going to go ahead and seal here after seeing here the next thing is to seal this place seal these two so here comes the conclusion of this tutorial can you see how lovely this same boxer is i hope you like this can you see how neat it is can you see so i really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this uh, video thank you very very much if you have any question regarding this particular video please feel free to drop your question in the comment section and if i want to know your comments regarding this uh, tutorial thank you thank you very much if you are yet to subscribe this channel kindly do that now click on the subscribe button below and uh, you hit on the notification bell so that you can have access to my um new videos okay please feel free you can share this out to your loved ones okay so till i come your way again bye for now